Hello and welcome. Today we will be demonstrating the features of the Polycom Business Media Phone. Now let's review how to navigate the directories on your Polycom Business Media Phone. You can store a large number of contacts in your phone's local contact directory. A corporate directory may also be available on your phone. Check with your administrator to see if you have a corporate directory. To access the directories, simply press the Home button, navigate to Directories, and select it. You'll see that we have a contact directory and also a corporate directory. If we select our contact directory, you'll see we have a number of options. We can dial a person directly from this list. If we have a large number of contacts, instead of scrolling up and down the list using our navigation keys, we can simply press search and search for a person's name. Um, we also have the option to add a new contact. Let's try to add someone. So you'll see that we have a number of fields, and these fields are administrator set, so they may appear differently on your phone, or you may not have all of these fields. But the only required fields to save a contact are the person's name and phone number. So let's start by adding a first name. So we're going to add in Jane, and we use our dial pad to put in her name. If we make a mistake, we use our backspace key. Use our navigation keys to go down to the last name, and we're going to put in Doe. And now we're going to navigate down to Contact, which is the phone number. The phone number must be unique. It must not already exist in the directory. If you save an entry with a non-unique phone number, the entry won't be saved. So we can actually put in an internal extension here or an outside number. Just keep in mind that some systems require you to prefix your outside number with a 9 first. But for our example, we're just going to put in a phone number. And then lastly, we're going to talk about the favorites index, which is essentially a speed dial number for the contacts that you call most often. Favorites display consecutively according to their index number. The contact with the lowest number displays first. So we're just going to put a 3 here. And now we're going to save our contact. Oh, it says that that number, phone number already exists. So let's go back up and change it. And again, we're going to hit, well, let's, oh, it did the whole number. Okay, so 1. All right, so we saved a different number to it. And now you'll see that Jane Doe appears in your contact directory with her phone number. And if we go back out to our lines view, you'll see that now Jane Doe is number third on our speed dial list. And if we'd like to call Jane Doe, we can simply press the button next to her name. In addition to adding contacts manually, you can also add a person directly from your caller list. So if we access our missed call list, and we highlight a number in that list, if you hit more, and then info, you have the option to save this person, this, this number, to your contact directory. For more questions, feel free to contact InfraDapt, and please check out our other videos. Thank you.